Bath and Body Works Pure Wonder. But is it really a pure wonder? I'm bougie today, baby. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Now, if you've been here, you know, when I start off drinking my water, that can go either way. It can be good, it can be bad. If you're new, put your seatbelt on and get ready for the ride. Get your water, let's go. Now, to be completely honest, when Bath & Body Works has a new fragrance, I always try to approach it with an optimistic point of view, but due to the last fairy tale, your girl was nervous. So when I went in the store, it was kind of like, My nerves was on 10. Tried the body cream. Beautiful packaging, by the way. Mm, okay. Tried the perfume spray. And I was like... I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so happy. Like, y'all, this is the one. But there are some pros. There are some cons. Y'all know your girl still got something to say. Let's get into it. So I'm not going to hold you all. I will tell you that on a scale of 1 to 10, I do, although I like it, I do give it a 6 and we're about to get into why. Will I purchase it again? You got to wait to the end of the video to see. So let's get into the notes right off the bat. So the first thing we have is the Ice Rosé, which I'm feeling. The rose gives it a nice floral feel, but not being overpowering. Me personally, I do not like scents that are like a floral bouquet, like in your face. The next scent is Star Jasmine. That jasmine is something that I think Bath & Body Works does very well. But jasmine, I will be honest and say, it is one of my favorite notes when it's in a perfume. Baccarat Rouge 540, my favorite perfume of all time, has that in it. And that jasmine just shines through in that fragrance. But in this one, it's also very prominent. And then we have a warm amber which gives it kind of like a sweet um soft feel but it also warms it up so three excellent notes um the prominent notes i would say are the jasmine and the rose but the amber kind of warms it up and calms it down so how does it smell so it's floral it's sweet it's not overpowering sweet though so i do think that um, even if you're not into a sweet scent, you may have the potential to like this. Like I say, uh, floral, I, I like floral, but it has to have a mix of something to either calm it down, which the amber does, or it will have to have like a citrus. So I, I'm not like a just in your face floral when it comes to the body care. So the scent is really, really pleasant. Now let's get into the meat of this thing. If I sprayed this on, because I tried it out yesterday and you did not know what this was, I'm almost willing to bet that you would think it were more high-end. I'm telling you, it gives you a luxurious high-end vibe. If you had no clue, I'm telling you, you would not think it was Bath & Body Works. Now, of course, it doesn't have the rare flower, the oil content, or the longevity of a high-end perfume, but that's what this is uh, for Bath & Body Works. Out of all of their scents, this is probably one of the most luxurious and high-end scents that they have. They are definitely trying to switch it up a little bit with this one. Now, before we get too far, I do want to go ahead and tell you my biggest issue with this because the con is just, it's one of those things to where although it smells so good, the con just makes it kind of hard. The con for me is that it is extremely, extremely, y'all, light. It is super light. I mean, well, for the body cream, let's talk about the cream first, then we'll get into the perfume. Um, the cream is so, I mean, it's, it's this light, y'all, to where you got to go like this to get a good whiff of it for the body cream it's it's lighter than light 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 i think i've said it 10 times so y'all know when i when i repeat it like that i'm telling you it's super light which can be good and it can be bad um the perfume is light as well so it's not overpowering which for some people that may be great for me i do like to at least smell my perfume so the perfume is also light 
but on the flip side it does have longevity for the price point um so it will last yeah i used it yesterday and i think i got about a good five hours before I had to reapply. And for me, that is not bad because then I can carry this with me and I can refresh whenever I need to or even a fragrance mist. I opt for uh, the perfume spray. But so the biggest con for me is it's light. On a day like today, yesterday I went perfume shopping. So today I don't wanna smell anything. So a light fragrance is really good. But for those of you who prefer something a little bit stronger, this may not be for you because you really, it, it's, it's hard to smell. Now, another con for me, I don't know if this will be a con for everyone, but it's not a unique smell. When you smell it, it's going to be more familiar. You're going to think to yourself, oh, that's a familiar smell. This brand kind of has something like it. Or I remember that brand kind of had. So it's not like anything new, which can be good and bad. But for me, what I really like about it is that it pairs very well with my other high-end perfume. So previously, I would pair In The Stars and Champagne Toast with my high-end perfume. Done. Pure Wonder mixes very well. If you're really into fragrance, um, we like to mix it up. Whether you're mixing Bath & Body together or you're mixing it with other high-end perfumes, this will mix well. Like this can lay with my Baccarat Rouge. This can lay with my Creed. This can lay with some of my Killian perfumes. It's excellent. It's not overpowering. And it has. it gives you kind of the same vibe of some of those so if you're trying to mix it it'll do well without overpowering or you know having given off something funky when you mix it so i think that's what it's good for but it's also good if you wear it alone so who wears pure wonder what type of person is it for somebody rich elegant classy she likes everything sophisticated exclusive top notch she ain't playing no games out here she's confident and even in a t-shirt jeans she know what she's wanting she's coming to get it what's wrong with being confident uh -huh. what's wrong with being what's wrong so pure wonder in the bath and body work line is definitely more of their luxurious um scents so as you know some of my favorites are vanilla bean noel uh, boardwalk taffy raspberry tangerine and when i think about the difference between this and those those are more fun they're more youthful they're more kind of playful pure wonder she ain't flirting or playing with nobody she's going to weddings she has bridesmaids she's getting her doctorate degree she's going to the opera she ain't think about nobody's son all types of different events that you can wear pure wonder to and then if you just want to wear it for every day it's good for the office because it's not overpowering so if someone has maybe an allergy or something like that to where they can't stand strong scents this would work for them because they're not going to smell you while they're at their desk so the final question is would i purchase this again I would have to say for the perfume, no, but simply because I have so much other um, scents that I use from Bath & Body Works and other brands that this will honestly last me a very long time. The cream, absolutely. So I'll be getting the cream and everything in the line because I think this is a good scent. It's good by itself if I just want something light for the day and it pairs well with other scents. So I need it, I need it, I need it. It's just a fun relax it's so different from everything they've done i like cannot wait to get my hands on everything i may go back today and get the body cream <laughs> and everything else that they have until they come out with hopefully the scrub the can i would love to have the candle and do that review um so yes i would definitely buy it again unfortunately it got a six because it's just so so light to where if i wanted to wear it by itself i gotta be all up on it and your girl don't like that i want to smell it so that is my review what do you all think about pure wonder did you love it did you hate it um yeah so do i recommend it absolutely go to the store and try it for yourself um because you know how that can be with surprises because it won't be for everyone so leave me a comment and let me know what you think have a wonderful day bye oh drink your water